Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I'm gonna start um, a new series of videos called Talking About Badass Bands, where I'm talking about some of my favorite bands, bands that I'm uh, influenced by, new bands that I'm starting to really dig, or you know, just really cool kick-ass bands in general. So uh, the first band I'm gonna talk about today is Metallica. I'm gonna start out with their 80s stuff, their thrash metal stuff. Um, I'm a huge Metallica fan, I'll just say that, you know, I love, you know, their 80s stuff, you know, I like the Black Album too, you know, I like, you know, I, I really like and appreciate, you know, everything they've done after Injustice for All, you know, Load has some good songs on it, so does Reload, um, St. Anger's has some decent songs on it, Death Magnetic I think is awesome, Hardwired is pretty cool too, yeah, all their albums are really cool, but I think my personal favorite era of the band was definitely the 80s thrash stuff, because, you know, that's what I was into, that's what my dad got me into, so... Yeah, really big fan of old school 80s thrash Metallica. So let's get started, you know, talk about their first four albums. So uh, what I have here is their debut album from 1983. This is Kill 'Em All. Um, Kill 'Em All was not the first album that I got into. It was uh, Master of Puppets. It was the first Metallica album I ever bought. Um, uh, but uh, I heard Kill 'Em All a little later. And I heard Dave Mustaine. I heard that story. You know, Dave Mustaine was kicked out, obviously, of Metallica. That's when he started. And the the original uh, song that became Metallica's Four Horsemen on this album was Mechanics, which Megadeth recorded later on their debut album, Killing Is My Business and Business Is Good. That album kicks ass too. But um, yeah, Metallica was definitely the metal band that got me into metal, especially. I think that's for a lot of people who got into metal was Metallica or, or Black Sabbath or Iron Maiden. But yeah, yeah, this whole album's filled with great thrash goodness, you know, it's got, you know, Cl Cliff Burton on here, uh, my favorite bass player, my musical hero, you know, James is an, a monster vocalist on here, Kirk's a great guitar player, Lars, I think, is a great drummer, in my opinion. Yeah, this debut record, I definitely recommend finding this, for sure, if you're, if you're, if you're a new Metallica fan or a new metal fan, definitely try to find Metallica's debut album first. So yeah, this is Metallica's Kill Em All, definitely check it out. Alright, next album I have here is Ride the Lightning. This is Metallica's second album. This is from 1984. This I bought alongside Master of Puppets. When I first heard Fight Fire with Fire, I was like, wow, this is freaking heavy, heavy stuff. And obviously I've heard heavier stuff. But, you know, to hear metal at, at like 12, 13 years old, because I got a Metallica, I got into metal at a young age. I was like three or four years old when my dad got me into Metallica, so, yeah, I got this when I was a little older, I was 12, I think, when I got this, so, yeah, to hear that heavy speed, you know, was, you know, was a milestone to me, so, yeah, Cliff Burton as well is on this one, all four members are great, this is definitely a follow-up to Kill 'Em All, because it definitely feels like it, it's, it's sharper, it's faster, it's cleaner, it sounds, more, the better production's a lot better, yeah, this is a great album, too, so, I, I talked about this in my, uh, Thrush Metal, recommendations video part one so yeah this is still uh, a recommend album if you can find it for metal in general or thrash or whatever metal you're trying to get into yeah definitely check this out this album what more do i need to say about it it's probably the best thrash metal album record ever written i have it on vinyl actually sitting right over there um so yeah this is a great album this is thrash you know primarily you know really good heavy thrash you know this was the first metallica album i bought alongside ride the lightning this was the first one i heard batteries oh man i first heard that i was like wow that blew me away yeah this whole album is just filled with incredible playing tight performances they're all on on time on all four members are on time on this album yeah, it's just an outstanding masterpiece album. This was Cliff's final album with Metallica, sadly. And, you know, uh, it sucks. Rest in peace, you know. But uh, he definitely left a legacy with these three albums. But yeah. if you're trying to get into, um, you know, thrash metal, I definitely recommend finding uh, Kill 'Em All, Ride the Lightning, Master Puppets, all these albums. Because they're, I feel like it's... When you're first trying to get into thrash metal, I think these are good albums to start with because they're not super insanely fast, which I love. They're not they're not super you know insane like Sodom or Creator, which those bands are great too. But Metallica was there first, 
with the their first couple albums. But uh, yeah, definitely, if you're trying to get into thrash metal, I definitely recommend finding Master Puppets. It's a classic. Now we're on to, personally, next to Ride the Lightning, this is my favorite Metallica album. It's their heaviest, most ass-kicking thrash metal album they ever put out. It's super dark and heavy, monstrous. It's all. It's, it's just insane how just brutal this album was for me at least trying uh, as a metalhead for when i first heard it um so yeah this is metallica's injustice for all this is their heaviest most ass kicking album they ever put out this was their last true thrash metal album to me this was the the the, the last of the classic 80s metallica albums and my door just shut and um yeah this is outstanding i first heard blackened i think on the radio I think it was like on Ozzy's Boneyard where I heard that. Um, yeah, that blew me away when I first heard that. I was like, when I first heard that, I didn't know it was on Justice for All, but I was sitting there with my dad. I was like, yeah, this is old Metallica. So yeah, this, besides Ride the Lightning or Master of Puppets, this is my favorite Metallica album because it's so heavy. It's so brutal. It's just monstrous thrash metal. It's just really pure. It's tight. The only problem that I, everyone knows this is the bass. They're, the bass is on here, but you can barely hear it, and that's a huge problem for me because I'm a bass player, and I really like that heavy, grudgy sound of bass guitar and metal, especially. Jason Newstead is an outstanding bass player, right up there with Cliff, one of the best in metal. Um, yeah, um, I think, I, I know that they, this just got re-released, but I feel like they need to re-release it again with bass on it because it just all they need to do is just go back to the original remasters and just turn the bass up you know it's not that hard but uh yeah this this whole this whole album is just pure old school 80s thrash so i definitely recommend that i definitely recommend all four of these albums but if you could find this one in particular this this is a it's a masterpiece so yeah that's my little uh, that's my little rant on metallica um um, I'm a huge fan. I, de I definitely would recommend anyone to, you know, get into Metallica, even if you're not a huge metal fan, because their songs are just so, anyone can connect with them. Yeah, definitely check out those four albums if you can find them. So, yeah, that's my little, uh, talk about Metallica. And, uh, next time we're going to talk about Sepultura. So stay tuned, guys.